Hi everyone, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cadlin here with a uh, severe thunderstorm warning currently up into uh, Montgomery County. It's in the Conroe area. This storm we've been watching for a little bit now uh, kind of popped up just to the north of Tomball and it's been drifting very slowly here to the east around 10 miles per hour. So a lot of lightning you could see it's pretty much sitting right over 45. Uh, this is to the north of Spring. Here's Tom Waltz to the northeast. This is pretty much uh, right in between Shenandoah and Conroe. Uh, this is just to the uh, north also of the Woodlands. Uh, we could see quarter sized hail with this thunderstorm. We could also see uh, gusty winds, but it's really hail that is the main concern uh, with this storm. And this severe thunderstorm warning I'm reading here goes until 845. So a pretty, uh, a pretty long lived severe thunderstorm warning. And of course, it's going to be as long as this storm is alive. You know, once the storm starts to weaken, that's when they're going to drop the warning. But until then, they're expecting this to go for uh, just under another hour, another 45 minutes here. So let's stop the radar. We'll time it out for you. We'll show you where it's going. If it continues on that track, I'm going to take it from the worst part. So instead of taking it from the edge, we'll take it from the uh, most severe part and we'll pull it out here. So over the next hour or so, over the next 40 minutes, uh, expect this in Woodlock around 8.07 into uh, Grangerland around 8.28, Porter Heights by 8.38. And again, that's if this holds together. It's kind of been going up and down. It's riding on a boundary right now. So again, it started here just to the north of Tomball and it's just been drifting towards I-45. Uh, pretty significant storm though, you know, gusty winds possible. The main threat that the National Weather Service is citing with this storm is the potential for some, uh, some small hail, uh, quarter sized. Again, we're not talking about uh, hail that's gonna do any significant damage to your car, but please, you know, if you see any hail uh, where you are, please report it to us, you know, let us know and we will pass the information along to the National Weather Service. That helps them to kind of get an idea of what's really going on uh, with this thunderstorm. Wider shot, you can see some bigger storms up to the north, more severe thunderstorm warnings up there. That's the yellow polygons up here towards Crockett, also just to the north and east of Bryan, and then even worse weather as you go even north and east beyond that. So this is the farthest south that these thunderstorms have really made it this afternoon. And it was able to tap into some of that um, uh, favorable atmosphere uh, for uh, conditions to become severe. So that's pretty much what we're dealing with right now. We'll play the loop here over the last three hours and you can really see this thing blew up. In fact, let's show you what the storm has done in the last hour and we'll slow things down as well. So there you go. You can see where the storm started here just to the uh, north and east of Pinehurst and uh, just kind of drifted in this direction. And I'm going to pause it again and we'll zoom in because I want to show you something here where we see that area of pink shading. So right in here at the end of Texas 242, that's where we could see some of that hail. So right now the hail threat is mainly to the uh, west of I-45 here. Uh, not a terribly populated area, but still, you know, anyone that's dealing with this, you're seeing a lot of heavy rain uh, right along FM 1488. Uh, this is to the east of uh, give you some road names here. It's the north of Research Forest Drive. And this is again just kind of drifting off towards the east at about 10 miles per hour. So this thing's not moving very quickly. So a lot of rainfall coming down in a short period of time as well. We could see some ponding on local roads. Uh, not out of the question. I don't think there's a huge flash flooding threat with this. But of course, if it sits over this area for another 20, 30 minutes producing this kind of rainfall, then that could be another issue. But right now we do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 845. So another 40 minutes. The main threat that the National Weather Service has cited with this storm is the potential for uh, small hail, quarter sized, and it's mainly going to be in this pink area here. So there's I-45 off there to the right hand side of the screen, that pink area. That's where that hail threat is going to be pronounced. And this is drifting towards the interstate. So this is again uh, just to the north of the woodlands. You can see here there on the very bottom part of this severe thunderstorm warning uh, out towards Woodlock. You're in line to see the storm within the next 20 minutes if it continues on that path. And uh, this is just the south of Conroe. Conroe looks like there you go as we're live. They just dropped the severe thunderstorm warning. So this now just dropping below severe limits, which is good news. So again, widening out. If you're just tuning in, we were just on the air for severe thunderstorm warning that included the Conroe and the northern portions of the Woodlands area, also including Woodlock. 
The National Weather Service just dropped the warning because the storm has dropped below severe limits. Still a very strong storm. You don't want to be outside for this. A lot of lightning strikes here in just the last 10 minutes, about 20 to 30 uh, on the screen there. But this is the only storm that we've got out there as we widen the shot. You can see nothing really else going on. We are keeping an eye on this storm here just to the north of Huntsville. Not warned for our area yet, but there is a severe thunderstorm warning up towards Madisonville and that storm is kind of drifting towards the south and east. Look at all of the lightning with that. Pretty impressive. In fact, let's see if we can uh, see how much lightning there's been in just the last 10 minutes in that one area. 125 strikes in 10 minutes. Pretty prolific storm there. So a lot of lightning with these storms. If we do see any storms pop up today, they're going to be big lightning producers, or at least for the rest of this evening. Now the sun's about to go down. Good news though, once the sun goes down, we do expect the threat for any storms to diminish, but a few of these could drift into the area. So again, the severe thunderstorm warning there for Montgomery County has been dropped. There's the good news. Put the warnings back on there. You can see the only two that we have now are just outside of the viewing area. If they drift into our area again, though, we're going to jump on and let you know. But again, the, the biggest area for the severe threat is going to be up to our north and east. You can see severe thunderstorm watch is extending all the way up into Arkansas. We've got three severe thunderstorm warnings right now up into East Texas and then back to the uh, west of San Antonio. But we did have the, this one warned here just within the last few minutes and they dropped that warning. So that's what we got going on for you. We're going to keep a very close eye on this. Stay with us on digital. And of course, if anything really serious happens, if any of these storms become tornadic, which we're not expecting, we'll jump in on TV. Thanks for watching.